Hello. Hope you all are doing well. I'm Rick Hip. I'm one of the elders at Church of Christ Northwest, as most of you know. Uh, we thought it'd be good to try and bring an uplifting and encouraging word daily if we can, to let you know we are thinking about you, we care for you, we're praying for you. Um, there's a lot of turmoil out there, a lot of things to be concerned about. If you don't watch yourself, you'll slip into some kind of fearful thoughts, as uh, Jesus warns us about time and time again. I am fortunate in that I have something to uh, keep me distracted so my mind doesn't wander too far. I'm thankful for that. Um, as I work through the day and stuff like this and consider what's going on around me as the virus thing uh, escalates and we are unsure about what's going on, we feel uncertain, we have to put our faith in God. We should be there anyway. And uh, I'm praying that it is there with you. When uh, a passage came to mind, I, I, as you should know, am a big fan of Ecclesiastes. It's just a great book. Read it front to back as if Solomon was talking right to you. You'll know what I mean. I'm going to pick a, a quick passage here. I think this has a good uh, parallel, if you will, to what we're going through today. If you bear with me here. Man, this is small print. Uh, in the chapter 12 of Ecclesiastes, he says, Remember your Creator while you are young, before the days of trouble come and the years when you say, I find no pleasure in them. When you get old, the light from the sun, moon, and stars will grow dull and dark. The rain clouds will never seem to go away. At that time, your arms will shake and your legs will become weak. Your teeth will fall out so you cannot chew and your eyes will not see clearly. Your ears will be deaf to the noise of the streets. You will barely hear the millstone grinding grain. You will wake up when a bird starts singing, but you will barely hear singing. You will fear high places and you will be afraid to go for a walk. <laughs> Listen to that. Your hair will become white like the flowers in an almond tree. You will limp like a long like a grasshopper when you walk. Your appetite will be gone. Then you will go to your everlasting home and people will go to your funeral. Soon your life will snap like a silver chain and break like a golden ball. You will be like a broken pitcher at a spring or a broken wheel at a well. You will turn back into the dust of the earth again, but your spirit will return to God who gave it. The teacher says everything is useless. But the conclusion so now that everything has heard, been heard, so I give my final advice. Honor God and obey His commandments, because this is all people must do. God will judge everything, even when it's done in secret, the good and the evil. Really, God's in charge every moment, every day. If we truly, truly believe that, we should have no fear. I know it's difficult to grasp firmly God and heaven and all of that, because we can only see, hear, touch, taste, and feel what we have around us. But it's all, tempor it's all temporary. We don't know from seeing it what heaven is, what God is, Christ and the Spirit. We read and we pray and we talk about it and we study it. We just don't, can't touch it. So it's hard sometimes for us to wrap our heads around that. I have come to the fact, the point that I can wrap my head around it. I firmly believe with all my heart that God's in charge. So with that, hey, cheer up. God's in charge. How can we go wrong? Appreciate you listening. Take care. God bless.